Alrighty, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different here, inspired by what Joshua Logan did for his action there, except for he also did some stuff with the ideology stuff over here. And I gotta really be doing that. Also, I got a little theme song over here. Little something. I'm gonna be trying to find out like the appropriate songs for these like little. Report. I'm gonna be calling out the actual reports off of Joshua Logan. You gotta think of that because I didn't even think about this, but yeah, I really often talk about like some stuff over here, like all the certain night night and stuff, and then the futures. But yeah, it really occurred to me to do fun. I probably will um do it for some of the older stuff that I did over here as well. Yeah, but since we got the song in the background, it's the uh, Sapir and Rifleman and the Partisan song, but actually in sync. That's the official title. But it's those two songs working together because this is the Russian Empire, and it fits in with uh, what we're going to be doing. So, what is it over here? Well, basically, I can see we got this big old infrastructure project. And since we got some new territory over here, not yet. Yeah, um, they also got some pan European stuff over here. So, yeah, as uh, you see, we got a massive infrastructure built up over here. It's kind of like train man, except we're more focusing on the railroads than on the railroads. But we definitely are um, getting over here. And as you can see over here, we've broken up the. broken up the rock front all the stuff out there former puppets but if you were probably the Italian we'll probably go here so as you can see over here we have the Italian national club over here and we still have all of our friends over there and the reason why I had that is that I explained briefly before but basically for my hand can for like this post um war world war that's gonna probably be a cold war between yeah it's gonna be cold war between the Commonwealth the nations and the Russian Union Empire. Because Japan those doing the whole lib thing, they're not gonna really do much. Japanese Korea, they probably might try to come back to the home islands, I don't have much of that but that. China's probably gonna be trying to contact us because we took some territory over here and also hope you vice versa your Russia's probably gonna set for conflict over here. Definitely. We aren't taking over Central Asia because then again the war goes, but that's probably something we would do in the future. Yeah, we're also born without the Anglo Persian oil companies over here. We got some boys over here. We'll probably try to push our field influence out to Africa. And bordering on the uh, yeah. Bordering on uh, the Commonwealth. As you see over here, yeah. We're gonna be basically my head cannon for this very gathered well remains of them just so we could sow instability in these two because without their benefactors in Germany, since they got being out over here. See that they lost big time, and there's now a massive, there's a massive Russian army at their doors. They'll probably be coerced into abandoning their socialist ways and ruining the ruining the, 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 the the future called the Monaco Socialist Club. If now we have uh, others that can take their place, and I'm pretty sure these two wouldn't be around by now. As I said before, it's basically just like whatever over here. Greece will probably be released at some point. I consider this like the um, wartime borders. Yeah, Ethiopia probably would probably would have broken free. Ethiopia Eritrea would probably have broken free as well. Around this time, India's still under DV. There's probably something that might be something we pay attention to in the future, but eh. Yeah, see, the only big thing over here is with even with America over here. Well, it probably would be a pretty cool rival for us. I'm not cool. Well, cool turns over here. Yeah. But you can see over there, it, it's a super event indicates we're also going to be trying to reclaim our lost territories. I know that in Kaiser Redux, we could also gain Alaska back over here as well. You know, with some other stuff over here. It's Alaska back. That's probably going to be like where the whole Cold War thing was here. I'm going to be trying to probably. Probably figure out. How to get Alaska without directly going into war with them? Yeah, I can see what they got in America over here. 
So you, yeah, you have like a pro, pro common boss, I like. It's point C. So just, like I said, if we had a Prussian Congos, that probably won't be, they probably won't bring you to fight for some time. Malgasy Kingdom. We're probably going to establish contact with them to be like, hey, we're f hey, the futurist boys are back. And, yeah, it's probably going to be set for a future war over here. I can see we're doing pretty good. And I'll say we got a bunch. We got a bunch of civilian factories. Let's see some more nice ports there. So we're now we're building a shit tons of them. Shit tons of them. Um, let's talk about that. We have 194 factories here. So we might... So yeah, we probably, we probably will downsize a bit on the mills, but we definitely got a bunch of focuses like, yeah, which over here, we still need another basically monarchical sources. We could probably sway some of the sources over here and to Rossi over here. Probably already got with Trotsky over here, but Trotsky and some of the pure leadership over here. I think. Yeah. Acceleration is to come back and forth, especially futurism. For your forward dynasty, we got Hovi. Over here, we probably have not tighten these, considering what Hovi is yeah, trying to do. But yeah, we're doing good militarily, we're doing good economically, we're getting, we're getting quite a force over here. We probably won't, probably won't keep the main force like this for long. Well, we probably could maintain the force, considering what we were doing. Like, we got a. Like the people's fortune. Some results mean that the Alperniki definitely cracking down some stuff. A whole bunch of that good shit over here. It's like nationalism and the progressive tax. More, more, mostly on a flat. The more higher income rating. Because we got some souls over here. It's probably, it's probably the big thing that comes out of this over here. We practically legitimized monarchical socialism. Like a futurism. I, I don't know what the hell this is going to be. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's from kind of like it was national Monaco bullshit. I think it was. I think it was, but yeah. It's basically going to be. A, it's basically just going to be like similar to all time Cold War, except Monaco futurism versus classical liberalism. There's democracy in general. The futuristic flame, Finally, the futurism moves on, so to speak, in Russia. Also, that could be said for last things over here. Probably have some remnants of the Kafka society with us over here. Assuming that we, assuming that we have like this mixture and all that. I do wonder. I do wonder. If this would. I think it would. I think this would thing. The model Rossi definitely would be very, very popular. Czar, the Romanovs would probably Romanovs probably wouldn't have their reputation clear, but they definitely would be a better rep. Definitely would have better rep this time, considering that we've helped out the people a lot. We've had tons of victories over here. We've expanded our spheres of influence all around Eurasia. I would say that overall. Assuming that the Zara reads is a puppet, basically, I do wonder if she's gonna try and. She would try and, uh. I guess the world boss will probably do some neutrality over here as well. <coughs> anyway, I had a cough. I need to get some more water. Anyway, I do wonder if she would try and. Actually, you know, try to be the Zara. Zara reads her. Actually, try to, you know. Have the power here because she's basically the puppet of the Maserati, the M Let. But uh, I don't wonder if there might be a power struggle in the future during this little hypothetical Cold War in this timeline. Whether she would try to assert herself as the Czar, Zarita, or if the Maserati is going to keep it puppeted and then just basically like a, you know, beat the Romanovs. And the Romanovs will probably continue long, 
long after her, just, just so they can have like a legitimizing figure to the female also run around and be like, oh, she's doing all of this, but that's actually us, she's doing all that. Yeah, it's very interesting to think about how this timeline could go, because this timeline could be really fascinating because of the whole monarchy and socialism stuff. And one of the things that I am interested in sounds like it's I don't. I think the U.S. will focus on the Vogue Luke's first in this timeline. But assuming they have, but assuming they haven't participated in any of the wars, as bad just giving them this and some volunteer troops. The U.K. probably, U.K. probably would want to fuck with us, considering. Yeah, I'm thinking they would try to, you know, not show out the war because they'd be like, goddamn, they beat the fuck out of, they beat the fuck out of the rot front over here. I want to imagine how they'll be over here. But considering that they probably have eyes on Alaska, no matter how Kaiser Great also had eyes on Alaska, it probably is going to be a big point of contention. I don't know if that's going to fall a full scale war. That's probably might be akin to like a, like the border conflicts that you sometimes see over here in uh, basic game China, where you have those real border conflicts. But like depending on how well you do, you can get borders. If you can gain or lose borders or something like that. It's probably gonna be something similar happening over here in Alaska because I, I don't really see them. I don't really see it, them going full out war. Especially, especially considering that they probably would realistically shortly after this, in forty course of forty four, they probably would want to solidify all their holdings. Uh, keep an eye on the Republic of China. Actually, they're probably be more interested in China because the whole unification stuff. They probably definitely would take over all of this territory and then yeah, take over all of here. Maybe convince Japan to also get over here because they also have Sakhalin over here. It's probably also something that we might have to get back over here. Yeah. So that's definitely another future. India is probably still going to be doing that. We got a bunch of borders with the uh, Commonwealth over here. And they do as I say. We definitely have the power though. If you have legitimized the specifically the Soviet mind of all stuff, or national rejuvenationism over here. It's definitely it's definitely gonna be something that a lot of people are gonna be looking into on like what socialism. I hope so that probably also means it's gonna be like a futurist it's probably gonna be something like into the red scare in our timeline. It's gonna be like the futurist here. I don't think there is anything for the Hujus here. Oh yeah, they're going up. They're going to continue probation. That's uh, not... I don't really see that working into well, to be honest. Even even after all this, it's... Mm. Any puppet forces for all that. Yeah, they're probably... They're already focusing on Japan, so that's probably something that they... They might try to get Japan over here. Because when they got popped they might try to go into pan over in this field. It's definitely going to be something over here. This is a very interesting timeline, so to speak. Like in all the timelines over here, probably rather interesting. Although I do... Do wonder if the rush will be a park. It probably will, though. Most likely, considering. It's going to be... Either this is how Risa will try to wrangle control, maybe. Well, solidifying or the mother of the just gonna come out on top and just basically be like the puppet master that the Zars of the Romanovs basically if uh, appear till like in the Russian Empire collapses or like just ends. Assuming that they already got some sources options, it, I can very well see like not like a full blown coup, but probably like a soft coup of some of the, some of the more um, left winging parties like. Like the Bolsheviks, the Mensheviks, any of the revolutionaries. We could also see some white wings because of the whole monarchy stuff. Like they might try, they might try to bring back like the old czar. They might view what we're doing as, uh, as like some pseudo, some crypto socialist crap, whatever. Whatever it is. Either way, though, it's very interesting this timeline. I do have a lot of interest over here. 
Yeah, you know, there will probably there might be some problems with you. Definitely gonna be some problems with you in late France because you're basically just like we basically just gather the remnants of the futurist cause over here and just to basically give these two a massive paint, which would Russia would probably use to get to get over here. Maybe like a little coup or civil war might happen. Uh, I yeah, may, maybe depends on circumstances. Oh, so yeah. oh yeah, and probably I said we'll pull, probably pull them. We get next from like a big old pan Slavic thing over here, maybe. Because I don't think that really was a thing. Or some. Yeah, so yeah, I also got this over here. I don't know. So there's a lot of things that could go either way, but I can't really, like, you know, theorize exactly how... I can't theorize, like, 50 years from now how it's going to be, but, you know, Just a little something I like to think about. It's something different over here. Probably it's not going to be as great as Logan's whole thing, because I think he... pretty sure he doesn't do a much better job at this than I have. But then I'm willing to give this a shot, and I'm willing to do something new with this series. A little bit. And probably if I divide redo the other series, I do something like this over here. Yeah, like middle thoughts and all that. Yeah, I do have hope, high hopes for the Russian Empire surviving. Considering that they've imp since considering that they're basically implementing both sides from the left and right. Like progressive taxes, like higher income weighted. Well and also flat income as well. Well, they more like flat income. Yes, it's definitely gonna. Look, the peasantry and like, the lower class are definitely gonna be living that. Like, the, they shouldn't have to worry about like any potential left wing uprising. The right might be a bit of an issue, but it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this little new segment I'm gonna be doing for uh, every post series. Again, it's gonna take me a bit for me to like you know, really get better. Okay, I hope I do get better at this. I do feel like I'm a lot better than doing this before. I remember when I first started this a long time ago. Look back something on the other videos. God, I was... God, I was making mistakes and all that. I'm still making a mistake here and then, but... I feel like I'm getting better at it. And it's not... It's not as bad as it was before. And hopefully, with this, I'll be able to improve and learn and... Talk about something more... Talk a bit more in depth. Probably not too in depth, but... A little bit more of what I think could be potential futures for all these... Not some stuff that they have. So until then, I'll see you all later, and hopefully I haven't missed too much. I don't think I've missed too much. Yeah, cause we got the military stuff. We're doing military. We're probably my downside is a bit, probably not too much. And yeah, see you guys later. All right.